When it comes to product development, the most important measure for companies is time to market. In the past, business had to set up and grow their infrastructure when new products were developed. However, this approach changed once cloud computing came into the picture. According to Deloitte, today 90% of IT companies use cloud for developing and managing their software, and 86% of companies think that the cloud is essential to their digital transformation and expansion. Not only that, this year's spending on cloud computing by business is expected to grow by 1 trillion US dollars. A lot of people these days are choosing careers in cloud computing. You're certainly aware of how important it is for organizations to have employees with knowledge of cloud computing if you're searching for cloud courses. Gaining a professional qualification is the simplest approach to begin a career in cloud computing. But how do you ensure that the course you choose is right for you? How can you be certain that the curriculum covers the necessary skills demanded by the industry? To answer this question, we have created this video just for you. The list of topics that a cloud computing course should cover has been put together by our industry experts who are associated with companies like Microsoft Azure, Amazon, Google, and Meta. You will understand the ideal syllabus for a cloud computing course by the end of this video. You may choose the best cloud computing course by carefully considering the choices and comparing them with those available online. But before we dive into the course syllabus discussion, make sure to subscribe to IntelliPad's YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get all the updates from us. Any course should ideally start with an introduction to cloud computing and how it's a revolutionary way to access computing resources over the internet, exploring its impact and the engineering behind cloud computing that makes it work. Once you're familiar with the basic points, the course should generally take you through the technology engineering of cloud computing. Basically, it deals with a diverse area of computing, such as system, software, web, security, platforms, risk, etc. Next comes the cloud solution architecture. It describes how technology components work together to create a cloud in which resources are pooled and shared across a network using virtualization technology. The components of a cloud architecture include front-end, back-end, cloud-based delivery, network, and security mechanisms. After this, the course will teach you about the cloud service cycle, following with how cloud systems are built, deployed, and improved. You will also learn terminologies like acquisition, operation, and termination of the services. Meanwhile, you will see how consumers and cloud providers approach setting up cloud environments. Basically, in this module, you will learn how to set up a cloud environment using private cloud infrastructure. Finally, you will be introduced to the cloud ecosystem and then you will be able to decode everything as a service solution and learn to target the right cloud architecture for your needs. And in the end, you will go through different types of cloud services models like infrastructure as a service, software as a service, and platform as a service. Not only this, you will also learn how they have different transformation methods and solution architecture models. By covering these modules, you'll gain a comprehensive skill set in cloud computing. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights into the syllabus for cloud computing course. Thanks for watching and see you at the next one.